Mary Dawn with MG's Kindle Channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hey! Great! This beautiful, crisp weather. I know, the time change, it's, you know, it's good for the mornings being lighter, but being dark at 5 o'clock, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> It's like, it's like winter. It's saying hibernate, stay home and hibernate. <laughs> Woo. I know it's coming up quick. No. It, it is strange. It's true. You you should always wash your hands. I mean, you know, using hand soap is not something that COVID brought along. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. We're not hearing all over the news, you know, limit your holiday gatherings to less than 10 people. It's, it's nice to not hear that. <laughs> I did not see that. Uh, oh my God. All right. We have people saying that they can hear me, but not Mary Dawn. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly fine. Riff, can you hear us in, uh, where you are? We're, we're Rip good. says yes, I can hear you. Lisa, can you hear Mary Dawn now? Okay, looks like we're good again. All right. <laughs> so, so yeah, okay. So I can't even imagine. Can you imagine? So $17.64 for minimum wage. It's crazy. So what do the people that used to make $20, $25 an hour, what are they going to be making? Are they still making the same? And then the 16-year-old at McDonald's is making almost $18 an hour? Yeah, I think that's exactly how that works. That seems unfair. I, I agree with you 100%. I don't know. Guys, tell us what you're drinking. Tell us what's happening in your neck of the woods to uh, quote Mr. L. 
broker. But um, so we got high minimum wage, and U.S. Foods is reporting that their prices are up 11 and a half percent. U.S. Foods is a food purveyor for a lot of bars and yes, and it's called food inflation. And it's blamed on the pork and the, pig, the pork piggy and the cow beef. So, Riff, I'm heading to Sarah Street for a drink. Ah, that's the street we hung out with. Or how, Jesus, I can't talk in dark out. And I have, literally, guys, I'm drinking a beer. I've had, like, three sips of a beer. Maybe uh, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So... Yeah, we've got food up, and you know what? That's insane because now you're noticing, I'm sure you've seen all over social media, that post about how don't be mad at us if our place raises our prices. Absolutely. And they're not wrong. I mean, it is what's happening, and it's it's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the price of... The price of food is up. The price, price of to-go containers is up. The price of employees is up. <laughs> yeah, and then I just got a message from one of our driver companies that brings us air to make our soda and beer, they went up to $25 per delivery. Wow. I know. It's, it's, it's crazy. So anyways, that's the bad news. So 47 days till Christmas. So I'm thinking, and I'm having a really big Christmas. I'm having a really big Thanksgiving at my house. So I've started my shopping and getting little things here and there that is going on. So the biggest part is wine, right? Yeah, of course. Got to have your wine. You can't not go without. <laughs> I know. So I'm thinking um, I'm having probably, I don't know, 30 people or so for Thanksgiving. Okay. I got to have wine for 30 people. Wow. I mean, if that was me and you and our friends, that would be 30 bottles plus. But Absolutely. It'd be a bottle <laughs> per person. <laughs> What'd you say last week? You're like, who doesn't finish a bottle? Yeah, who who has it leftovers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So I was out there and I was shopping around and I'm thinking, you know, I was up in New York this summer visiting some family and my cousins love wine. And they one said to me, listen, I don't drink that expensive stuff anymore. I just buy the box wine because I'm like a mom with a wine thing and I have my box wine and I love it. Nice. And I kept thinking about it. And here's me going out. I'm buying expensive wines at $11 a bottle every night. I'm like, what? And then you can go and buy a 1.75 of a Woodbridge, which is a really very, very good wine. And this is a 1.75, and this is $10. So okay. I'm getting more in here. And so I had a little glass last night. It was okay. But, you know, when you're feeding all these people on your holidays, it's not a bad thing. It, it, it really, you don't need to be serving of, you know, Louis Jardot Poulet Fousse or something like that. I and mean, you don't need to because they're so full and they're, with their turkey. Yeah. So that's a good idea. But even better idea is the boxed wine. Absolutely. And just pour it in like a pretty glass pitcher and make it look great. <laughs> yeah, like a decanter. Absolutely. I don't own one. So gift ideas, family and friends watching. How do you not own a decanter? Oh, my I goodness. Know. I really don't know. <laughs> I just never, again, it never lasted long enough to decant it. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but so the Boda box, have you seen the Boda box? I have not. Okay, so this is the Boda box. It's B-O-T-A. And this is a picture of the Boda box. And this is the number one grossing wine in the nation right now. Huh. And it's supposed to, I, I, I was going to get a box, but I, I, I just didn't do it yet. But it's actually, Boda is an old Spanish term for uh, carrying wine on the go. And they used to use, like, pig skin insides of the animals and they would tie it into like a little pouch <laughs> oh nice yeah and like put it on their side 
So oh, that's really it's it's like that wine purse that you wanted to buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the inside of this isn't an animal's flesh. No, no. <laughs> so what the Boda Box does is they use Mylar inside it, and so it keeps it fresh, and they're marketing it as a premium wine. So I don't know, and it's owned by Francis Ford Coppola, and, you know, the Coppola wine, they've got, they've got some very, very good wines. They do, you're right. So that's a good idea, and it's a three-liter box, and that's the number one grossing wine, and then you've got the black box, and then, of course, the Franzia. Yep. If I remember growing up, and there was always a box of Franzia, white crisp, in my parents' refrigerator, and I'd be like, <laughs> putting it in a glass with some ice and seven up. Oh, it's just pop, Mom. Don't worry. My my Nana always had the peach Reuniti. <laughs> <laughs> Reuniti on ice. That's yes. Nice. But that's that is and and the Boda box is 100% recyclable, so it's good for the environment. There's not a lot of glass and recycling all that stuff, you know. They also have a Boda box breeze, which has got lower calories and lower carbs. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you can do the box wine this season. You can do your big wine or your little wines. And I just wanted to show you some comparisons because I have I always said I have three boyfriends, Josh, Joel, and J-Lor. Mm. The three J's in wine. I love them all equally. So this one is your regular Josh Cabernet. Plain and easy Josh, probably around $11. And this guy is the perfect go-to, excellent. It's got blackberries and hazelnut and cinnamon overtones in it. Mm, perfect. Yum. Perfect, perfect. And then this week, one of my wine purveyors gave me this one, which is the Reserve in its bourbon barrel cask aged. And this one, I tried it. It's empty. See, nothing in <laughs> But... It was a little thick, I kind of like, I don't want to say this in a bad way, kind of motor oil-ish eat, you know? Oh, okay. But thick. So they're saying this one is more for barbecue. Ah, oh, okay. So this one's a little more expensive, but it's still good. Then nice. They also gave me this one, this Legacy. It's a red blend. And this one was a little more Pinot Noir-ish, a little more watery, if you will. And now this one, like peppery and uh, dark fruit smells and tastes, you know, I don't know. I'm not a blend fan, but I would take it, you know, obviously. But these two are way more expensive. You're looking at 15 bucks. So for 15 bucks, you could probably get almost two of these big boys. Yep. So thanks to my cousin, Debbie, who's telling me about how people, these are all of our, uh, Corks from my house. Pretty insane, huh? It's because you don't let a bottle of wine go to waste. No, never, <laughs> never, 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 never. So, okay. They're talking about everywhere I go. I walked into one of my jobs this morning, into one of my bars, and my bartender said, hey, have you seen the liquid Butterfinger? I said, every minute on my Facebook feed, I see the liquid Butterfinger shot. Have you seen it? Yes, of course. Somebody posted it to my page today as well. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to make this thing. I am making this liquid Butterfinger, and I haven't tasted it yet. So, Oh, I've had them before. Oh, you have? Do you like it? Super yummy. <laughs> Is it? Okay, so we're going to make it. Meanwhile, let's talk about Hooters. Hooters? Hooters. Are the shorts getting shorter? Something like that. <laughs> Check out this picture of Hooters, okay? So, okay. All right. Might have to make that real big. There we go. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> so these girls in Mississippi dressed up like this for Halloween. They bought those costumes on Amazon for $30 a piece. Nice. They went to their local Hooters and they competed in a contest. Tell me they won. I don't know if they won. I don't know. It didn't say if they won or not, but hey, Rudy. Oh, I hope they won. <laughs> you won but, in our book, ladies. <laughs> I know. And I don't think they're going to like those short shorts that Hooters wants their girls to wear. But 
<laughs> there is a social media influencer in Brooklyn that is stating that there is going to be a Hooters for full figured women. Nice. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Yes or no? I like it because not Why not? Like, no one looks like a Victoria's Secret supermodel all the time, you know? True. Okay. So let us know what you think about the Hooters girls. Meanwhile, our liquid butterfinger. It's real simple. Each one is a half an ounce. So in no particular order, my screen froze. I missed the photo. Oh, we'll put it back up for you while we make this. Half an ounce of Kahlua. Half an ounce of your Bailey's, or we're using Carolyn's because it's really all the same. Pretty much. I mean, it really doesn't matter. When you're mixing it all together, a vanilla vodka, we're using a premium Smirnoff. If Tito's had flavors, we'd be using Tito's. We would. The unofficial vodka of MD's general channel. And last but not least is butterscotch, butterscotch schnapps. And I mean, you don't need to Kuiper, like I said, you can use just an inexpensive brand. Mm -hmm. That's it. Four liquors, Kahlua, Bailey's, butterscotch, and vanilla vodka. That's it. Super easy. You can even layer it. I think I'd like it layered instead of chill, but they want you to chill it. It's all so, about that shake. <laughs> I love the shake. So I think it would be better warm just because a candy bar cold is like when you pull the Kit Kat out of your fridge and it's like, you know? Uh -huh. No bueno. So let's try this out. This is our liquid Butterfinger. All right. It looks good. Looks just like the picture. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's really, really, really good, but it doesn't taste like a Butterfinger to me. It kind of tastes like a buttery nipple, right? Yeah, it tastes just like a buttery nipple, but now I've wasted two more ingredients. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's a scam, but it's good. Oh, and it, and it's maybe fun. you could recreate it and do, like, half half chocolate vodka to add that chocolate for the Butterfinger. Maybe it hmm. just needs more butterscotch. Or maybe we could rim the rim in Kahlua and then pieces of the Butterfinger. We could chop up Ooh. an actual Butterfinger. That'd be good. That might be good. That's an idea for the holidays, you guys. And you know, mm -hmm. another thing is I had gone to a thrift store today to find a telephone. Like an old plug-in telephone? Absolutely. Because okay. in one of my bars, I mean, the phone, we need to have a phone at the bar, right? Yeah. So our phone broke. And I went to Walgreens. I went to CVS. Nobody had, they laughed at me. I said, do you guys carry phones? They're like, uh, no. Okay, and I didn't feel like going to Walmart, so I said, let me stop at a thrift store. And sure as anything, there was a phone, brand new, five bucks. Nice. So while I was there, I was looking around. They got everything Christmas. I picked up stuff for a tablescape. I spent a total of $21. I got a phone and, like, my whole Christmas table all done. Nice. And it went to some charity. The You know, it's like a charity type of secondhand store. Oh, that's even better. So, I mean, that's, these are just great things. And, and, you know, the holidays are going to be here in like 2.2 seconds. So take advantage, get out there, shop secondhand, and, you know, help everybody out. This is pretty good. Let me have another little sip. Riff they're, very, they're very rich. You can't drink a whole lot of them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And do you hear about Burger King? No. So they're starting their new rewards program, and their rewards... They're giving it to you in cryptocurrencies. What? Yep. Yep. So when you reach a certain platform, you know, whatever the, the, the timeline is for them, you'll get 26 cents worth of a cryptocurrency. Oh, okay. But still 26 cents. I mean, some of those cryptos are like 0. 0.00021, you know? Yeah. So if you're out there at Burger King, make sure you get your crypto rewards. But 
that's really, you know, that's really all we have today because I am heading out first thing in the morning. Ooh. Where are you headed to? Oh, hang on. I forgot another Christmas present idea. This is from MaryFrancis.com, which has got the coolest purses in the world. Check out this purse. It's a tiki bar purse. How cool. <laughs> Isn't that great? That is so great. I know. They've got tons of different ones. Like I said, MaryFrancis.com. And this purse isn't very expensive at all. I think it was like 50 bucks. But I mean. You, you totally need that purse. Yeah. I don't know if I'd use it, though. I mean, where would I use it? I don't know where we would use it or you would use it. But I feel like you need it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I am uh, heading out to the Hard Rock. One of our sponsors, Exchange of America, is putting on a little shindig for us tomorrow. Nice. So I'm heading down to the Hard Rock tomorrow, and I cannot wait. I haven't been to South Florida Hard Rock in since last year, my birthday. Okay, so you're going to Hollywood. Yep. Very nice. Excited. And they have that restaurant across the street with the robot waitresses. And Are you going to go check it out? I definitely, definitely. What is my mom? I C K. What's that mean? Ick. Oh. Ick to the purse. She said ick. To ick. The purse. <laughs> ick to the purse, Ma. Why? Hi, Mom. So, yeah, I'm going to go check out and see if they still have those robotic waiters. And I want to ask, you know, have they had any problems? Have they broken? If they needed a, a new chip or something, you know? Yeah, for sure. So, I'm getting an update on those. Astro Jetson looking waitresses. Nice. I can't wait. Maybe I'll go live from there. That'd be awesome. But that's that's really all we got today. So you guys, if you want to make the butterfinger for your friends, they'll think it's amazing. Honestly, I think that to me and to Judy, it kind of just tastes like, you know, things we love anyway. So yeah, finger, <laughs> you can make that for sure. And mom, you would like it. No ick on that. Mm. Yum. It's getting better by the minute. Mm. Anyway, so that's about it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. Don't forget, if you're looking for Josh wine, also joshsellers.com, you can get personalized holiday labels this year. That's always fun. Yeah, you can take a picture of your dog or your cat or your the person you like and put it on the label and, you know, that could be your present. Or you can just take a picture over to photo mat and put it on the, the front of your big <laughs> or your boda box and be the same thing, you know, slap it right on there with some masking tape. <laughs> yeah. Just put it up there with some tape, but that's about it. And hopefully next time, uh, this will be full. No, it won't be, but anyways, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Judy and everybody have a wonderful week. Stay safe. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>